amazing weekend, but I'll, I'll tell you all about it. And uh, the guess who's are, are, well, they're not that ridiculous, but because I thought it'd be full of famous people, yeah. but it's really random famous people. So that was my weekend. Uh, well, Friday night was uh, a couple of beers round at mine. Mm -hmm. Saturday night was uh, some friends round at mine. Sunday, I finally left the house. And yeah, the helicopter ride was all right. Apart from the door opened on the way back. Whoa. What? Why? Yeah. Oh. Sitting there in a little small helicopter. What's that noise? And the door just goes boom and just opens a little bit. That's not a good idea. It's still connected. You know when you don't shut a car door properly? Mm. Yeah. And you can you can kind of move it. It's not mm. it's not mm. open, it's not closed. Yeah. It's that. Point. Yeah. On the latch. On, on the, the latch. Thing. Well the helicopter door does that. Mm. And there's three guys in the back. Sophie's in the front. And we all look, kind of look at each other. And the pilot goes, Oh, what's that? Is that the door? Oh, sorry about that. So he's <laughs> flying the helicopter, trying to lean back. Oh, my goodness. To try and close the door. At which point, the helicopter then starts moving a little bit. Not much, I'll, I'll, granted. Mm. But enough to make me go, don't do that. We'll do it. Just, we'll, we'll. So he's leaning back going, Yeah, you want to just, um, you want to just, you want to just fly the bloody helicopter, mate? Stop yeah. leaning. <coughs> anyway, <coughs> got it pulled shut. Oh, that would freak me right out. And then Sophie's sitting there <laughs> in the front seat and just turns around and gives me a look of... <coughs> and I'm like, it's fine, don't worry. It's fine, it'll be all right. I'm have, papping it. They should have child locks on those back doors. Yeah. Stop them opening. But all good. It was all brilliant. Good. So, yeah, it was, it was a bit showbiz. I was back home five past four. Were you? Yeah. <laughs> After the Grand Prix. That's the way to The travel, helicopter didn't pick you up from your house, did it? Yeah, yeah. From back on. Oh, okay. No, of course not. <laughs> so it was amazing. That was, uh, and, and you know, I was, I feel very, it was, I was very, very lucky to go and experience all that, but uh, all good. And now back to reality of Rachel waking me up at five to six mm. this morning. Your phone's not working! Mm -hmm. I was very gentle this morning. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine, I'll just rush into work. Oh, don't forget, by the way, we're streaming the show live to millions of people around the world. Brilliant. I'm glad I'm wearing uh, a really cool rock and roll outfit. Mind you, looking around the room, it's like, this is like, this could be a fashion show in Milan. <laughs> You've got Rachel and Dave looking like same difference. Thanks. <laughs> before they go on stage. We've got Carrie wearing a vest. <laughs> I've got a vest on too. And we've got Dominic Byrne who looks like he's just done a night shift of delivering milk tray. Mm. <laughs> or cat burglar. Or working as stage crew. This is one of my six black t-shirts. I may be wearing some more throughout the week. I know, I've noticed you've been wearing a lot of black t-shirts. I just went to shop and bought six of them. They six fit. black t-shirts? Yeah. You can't have too many black t-shirts. Somebody to make you can. Tray. You've got four too many yeah. at least. Uh -huh. Did somebody tell you that they were slimming? Yeah, that's exactly, they are that's exactly what it is, isn't it? Somebody said, no, some, he's black. lost a little bit of weight. And someone said, ah, oh, do you know what? Look at, black, him, look at his face, look. That's not true. Black so looks good on I you. Should I tell you why so I true. bought them? It's a very boring story. Oh. When we were filming Dragon's Den, the outfit, for me, included a black T-shirt. So I thought, well, I'm not going to wear the same one over and over again. I'm going to buy six. Because why don't they buy it for you? Because there's no wardrobe allowance. Well, if there's no wardrobe allowance, they can't dictate what you should wear. No, the problem was, on the first day of filming, I wore a black t-shirt right. with whatever else, a jacket or something, and you have to wear the same clothing wow. in case they do another day's film and they want to use the same... Mm. Do you know what I mean? For Don't continuity. They buy you a black t-shirt. Mm. And some trousers. You're such yeah. a sucker. So you went out and bought six t-shirts yeah. for a job. They weren't expensive, though. They oh. cheap, these. But oh. Really? Each, nine quid each, something like that. I bet they weren't even that. It's fiver. They were, all right, they were about Three four pounds each. Or do, you know, you, do you know exactly how much they were? No. You do, don't you? They were about... Swear on your son's life that you don't know how much they were. I don't know, and I do swear on... I don't know how much they you were. You look lovely, though. Thank you very much. <laughs> you look the same as you did on Thursday. Thank you very Friday, much. And Friday. Yeah, thank you. And last Monday. I'm going to wear a different colour tomorrow if it's an issue. <laughs> in Foot Locker in New York, you can buy, like, five T-shirts for $10 or something ridiculous yeah. like that. It's a good deal. Yeah. Why it's didn't you fly out there, first <laughs> yeah. class? Buy a load of blue ones. For this ones. bargain. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. 